you can't have a Thanksgiving dinner without turkey. Mine stays juicy and delicious because I stuff it with citrus fruit, oranges, and lemons. Fresh sprigs of oregano and sage also bake inside for delicious flavor and aroma. Roast turkey with herbs and citrus is a dramatic centerpiece for a holiday dinner. I like to prepare my turkey a little differently than the traditional way. So I'm going to start with my aromatics. And I'm going to use lemon and orange to put inside my, the cavity of my turkey. And I'm going to cut the lemon in wedges. And an orange as well. And the juices from the orange and the lemon, they keep the turkey breast and the whole turkey meat flavorful, moist, and tender. And they really do create a fantastic aroma. And also some onion. Cut the onion up as well, just like that. And I've got some fresh herbs. I'm gonna use some fresh rosemary, oregano, and sage. We're just gonna use a few sprigs. We're not even gonna chop it, just leave it in whole, because later on, I'm just gonna pull it out. And before I stuff them and put them inside the cavity of my turkey, I need to make the rub. I've got some melted butter here, and I'm gonna add some herbs de Provence. And herbs de Provence is a mixture of herbs, like basil, marjoram, lavender, fennel seeds, rosemary, a lot of them, and that's why I like it. It's all mixed on into one container. I use dried herbs for the rub because the turkey's gonna be in the oven for a long time and fresh herbs would burn. So we'll use a little bit of that, and then, of course, a little bit of salt, some freshly ground black pepper, and olive oil. Gotta add a little olive oil, it's an Italian turkey. Just gonna mix this around a little bit. And I'm ready to stuff the turkey. I'm gonna take all the orange wedges and lemon wedges and put them directly into the cavity of my turkey. I like to take the turkey out of the refrigerator about a half hour before I'm gonna bake it. That way it comes to room temperature and when I put it in my preheated oven, it doesn't have to defrost or come down in temperature. It starts cooking the minute I put it in there. Don't worry about pressing it all in there. It's fine. And we're gonna discard of this, we're not actually gonna eat this. So it's just to give a lot of flavor to the turkey. And we're gonna add the fresh herbs as well. Just like that, just shove them in there. You can do this part a day ahead of time and then place it in the refrigerator. I just wanna tie the legs together to keep the shape of the turkey. That way you take it out and it looks beautiful and everybody oohs and ahs over it. There. Perfect. Now, for the rub. So the melted butter, the herbs of Provence, salt, pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. I'm just gonna spoon it. Actually, we can just pour it. And what the butter, the olive oil, and the herbs do is it gives it a beautiful brown coloring on top. So just rub all the parts of the turkey, massage everything. Make sure all the oil and the salt, pepper, and herbs gets into all the little crevices over here. I'm just also gonna put my fingers just a little bit and try and rub some of the butter and herbs and olive oil in between the skin and the actual flesh of the turkey. Just right there is enough. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands and get this turkey in the oven. Because the turkey's gonna cook for a while, I'm gonna cover the breasts and the legs with some tin foil so they don't brown too quickly or burn. And then I'll remove it later on. After 20 minutes, I'm gonna add three cups of chicken stock to the roasting pan and then scrape up all the little bits that may have caramelized on the bottom. And then I'm gonna add some more fresh herbs just to add a little more flavor to the chicken stock. Then we're gonna cook the turkey for another 40 minutes. And then I'm gonna take the foil off, reduce the heat to 350, and cook the turkey till it's done. Look at my beautiful turkey. 
I stuffed it with oranges and lemons, fresh herbs and onion. And it's golden brown and perfect. I'm gonna use some sage. And now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with my leftover lemons and oranges. right on the sides. There, just like that. 